It is estimated by the World Health Organization that there are over half a billion people living without a safe water supply close to home. As Jamaicans, we're lucky as most of us can get safe water to drink directly from our taps. Learn all about the water treatment process in our next feature. The human body cannot function without water. While you may live for up to three weeks without food, you cannot go more than a week without water. From breaking down the food we eat so the body can use it, to helping us heal when we get sick, water is needed for almost every process that takes place in the body. And although 70% of the Earth's surface is covered with water, drinking it directly from seas, rivers, wells or aqueducts may make you sick. Untreated water contains bacteria and other germs, as well as chemicals that may be dangerous to the body. So in order to get the water from here to here safely, it has to be treated. Water treatment processes differ depending on the source. If the water is coming from a river, for example, here at the Negro River in St. Thomas, it usually goes through an extensive treatment process before reaching the pipe. Here is where we do the, the first type of treatment in the form of sedimentation and screening. Behind me, you can see where we screen the bigger stuff, like the stick, the stones and debris. Then we come down to the sediment where we separate the sand from the stones. And then this water will leave into, from St. Thomas and pipe into Kingston via pipeline into the Mona Reservoir. The Mona Reservoir is the island's largest raw water storage facility and provides the liquid to over 30% of people living in Kingston and St. Andrew. If this is where you get your water, here is where the next step in the treatment process occurs. Here in the reservoir, we allow for maximum levels of mixing, um, maximum levels of aeration, as can be done here at the facility. We also, at the reservoir, uh, you allow for settling out of the silt and the suspended particles, dirt particles, that would otherwise be in the uh, raw water. We then take the water from the reservoir and take it to the Mona treatment plant. At the treatment plant, chemicals are added to further purify the water. Chlorine is first added to kill bacteria. You have stages that include uh, uh, flocculation, where we actually add chemicals to the water that allow those microscopic dirt particles that are still in the water to be brought together in what we call flux. And then we are able to skim it off and remove it from the water. The water is then passed through filters which contain layers of sand, gravel, charcoal or synthetic materials that remove remaining small particles. The final stage is disinfection. Here, chlorine is added to kill any other bacteria or germ. Ensuring that we have what we refer to as chlorine residual that goes with the water so that as the water travels along the pipeline to our customers, should it come in contact with any germs along the way, there is enough chlorine residual in that water to destroy those germs and still be delivered to the customer in good quality. The water is tested all throughout the treatment process to ensure that what you get in your pipe meets World Health Organization standards. For several years running, the National Water Commission has won the best tasting water in the Caribbean. We have also been acknowledged by the various arms of the United Nations at different points in time as having one of the best quality water in the hemisphere. That is definitely something we can drink to.